So let's start with our uh, trading view scanner indicator, and I'm going to show you a demo very shortly. But basically, what does uh, what is the trading view scanner, and what can you find uh, within the new indicator? So first of all, the goal of this indicator is to being able to alert you in real time on gamma levels. Uh, we are going to alert you on breakouts or breakdown uh, on different gamma levels that you set up on your chart. We're also going to add data to your uh, trading view. Uh, chart, which is going to show you the gamma conditions, so whether an asset is in positive or negative gamma, the implied volatility of the asset, and the various Q scores that can really help you understand the sentiment uh, during the day. So we, we've added that data into, into the indicator. Uh, the coverage, we can have up to 40 tickers within the indicator. Uh, 20 of them are going to be default tickers that we upload every day. And 20 of them can be custom tickers. So if you guys are uh, trading small cap or different companies that are not covered, you can actually import your own levels and be alerted uh, as well using the same tool. And then, of course, you're going to be able to customize the notification, whether you want to receive an email, an app notification, a uh, sound while you're trading. So that's going to be very, very helpful. So the next step is going to go into the demo, and then I'm going to answer any question that you might have. All right, so first of all, here what we have is we have our gamma levels that are plotting the levels on the chart, and then we are going to have our scanner. To add the scanner, you can actually go under, you will have access to the scanner, you will be able to find it in your invite only section. If you don't see it, simply disconnect and reconnect your uh, training view username within the mentor queue dashboard, and you should be able to get access to the indicator. Once you get access to the indicator, then the indicator will open up like this and what you will see by default is 20 tickers that we upload every day so we go from the max 7 uh the etfs uh, that are more relevant like qqq spy of course the indices so spx uh, the vix and the x and then uh, bitcoin uh and then uh, of course the major future that you guys are trading like yes nq uh, cl and gz uh, so the levels are automatically updated. The steps to upload the indicator would be to remove and re-add the indicator every day so that you can actually get the updated levels every day so you can get alerted on the updated data. The levels that we currently have are the end of day levels. So if you are looking for intraday levels, then what you can do is you can actually come in the indicator settings and you'll be able to input your levels here uh, using the, the custom tickers. So here i have different options so i have three level inputs and what i can do there is i can go into my dashboard and let's say that i want to get uh, my end of day levels uh, for any other ticker i can go into the training view levels indicator and i can then maybe create an excel file or a, a word document like this one here i have some levels of some of the stocks that i'm interested to watch for i can copy and then I can go into the indicator here and just paste the levels and then simply tick the box custom tickers, right? What this is gonna is gonna do is gonna actually add those tickers that I have right here on the right hand side. So the right hand side will show me my custom ticker, and the left hand side will show me my default tickers. I have the option to show either or just show the custom ticker. So if you just wanna uh, be alerted on the tickers that you care about and you don't really want to see the default tickers then you can simply click on custom tickers and this is going to give you uh, the data and the ability to set up alerts on those tickers as well but let's focus on our default tickers here and let's see what we have here uh, as settings so the first settings is the ability to uh, show the implied volatility which you will see here and our gamma conditions so we can see if we are in positive or negative gamma. And then we have the option to add our different mentor queue scores. So I can click on the different scores here. And this is gonna populate basically a nice table for me. Uh, so that I can quickly view basically whether we are in a bullish, bearish bias coming from different scores. So if I'm trading, for example, QQQ or SPX, I can see that we are at the two Q score option and, and five Q score momentum. So the option activity is kind of neutral on SPX, but the momentum is still strong. And if, of course, I can do the same on the different assets. So if I trade Apple, I can see that my option activity, the bias coming from the option score is pretty bullish. Uh, our momentum score is also pretty bullish here. 
so here I can also remove them. So if I don't want to see the scores, I can untick that because maybe I want to save some space. Um, and then as you can see here, now we're going to go into the alerts. So how can I set up my alerts? So the alerts are here. Um, and then basically I can select uh, which levels I want to be alerted to. So by default, you get all the levels, but let's say I don't want to be alerted on Jax 1 to 5 or Jax 6 to 10. Um, then I can I untick that and then I can select breakouts or breakdown. So let's go over what a breakout is. A breakout would be uh, when the price touches the level from below and a breakdown would be when the price touches the level from above. So if I select a breakdown, if the price is moving down to the level, I will al be alerted when the price kind of comes down and you will see a, a, an upward or downward arrow there as well. Uh, so you can have both of those alerts uh, right there and simply by selecting those. Uh, other things that I can do here, very, very simple, I can select my mode. So I can select a light mode on the table. If I want to uh, see the table in white, for example, I can do that. I can also change the size of the text. Let's put that back. And I can also change the position. So where do I want to see uh, the table? On the right, on the left, on the middle, top and bottom, right? So once I set up my settings, uh, then here we are, we are done, so uh, we click OK. And then the step that we need to follow now is simply click on the alert section here of TradingView, click on set up a new alert, and then you'll be able to re reference the indicator that you have on your chart. So here I can see my two indicator. I want to select the scanner and I want to select any alert on function call. Just simply hit create and the alert will pop up. But before we do that, we want to also modify our notifications. So the notification that we can have are various. We can leverage the trading view application for that. And we can get a notification in the app, uh, toast notification. We can get an email. We can actually play a sound. Uh, and let's do that and let's do create. So this is also the step that you need to follow every day. So every day, what you need to do is you need to uh, remove and re-add the indicator and simply set up the, the alert for the day. Uh, so the system will automatically add the new levels that you have on, on uh, coming from, from our system. And then you will be able to create the alert right here uh, every day. So simply uh, remove, re-add the indicator, uh, set up the settings. So just customize what kind of... Uh, alerts you want to see and then uh, simply create an alert and now now we just need to wait and see when the alert pop up once some levels are uh, reached and then let's see let's see what happens so now let's wait until uh, we we get some of the alerts uh, and then what you will see once the alert is triggered not only it will pop up based on the notification settings that you set up but it will also pop up in in the in the dashboard here if you don't want to uh, have this open all the time you can simply once you set up your alert simply minimize and then this can stay on the background and whenever you want to see um, or monitor for example some of these you can you can add it back to the chart there's a very good question from Ivan what time frame so the alerts will be based on of course the time frame that you select uh, so the candle that you have selected, so they will be um, referring to the to the candle that you have selected. So um, it really depends on the strategy. So if you are scalper, then maybe you want to have a one minute time frame. If you are more of a, a swing trader, then you can have a five minutes or ten minutes. So really, it's really depending on on uh, on your strategy. But if you want to receive the alert as soon as the price touches the candle, then maybe you want to do have a uh, one minute uh, candle set up there. And yeah, and the alerts are real time. As soon as the price touches the level, then you'll be able to get uh, an alert right there. So as a, this is a question here, as a swing trader, is it better to have a time frame of five or 10 minutes? It really depends if you want to be alerted as soon as the price hits the level or if you want to wait until the end of the candle. So it really depends on your strategy. I would say I would want to know as soon as the price touches the level. So that's why I have my one minute candles here. Um, 
set up, but it really depends on, on your strategy, right? So the, the other question that we have, uh, what if we want to get uh, intraday levels um intraday levels uh alerts yes you can do that absolutely so what you what you need to do you simply come into the intraday section and then uh select the asset that you want so in this case if we select tesla and i want to get the intraday levels for tesla simply come to the trading view levels right here and then come to the tv scanner section and just type in uh, the levels there, and then you'll be able to get intraday levels update on Tesla. Of course, once you modify the settings, you would need to create a new alert. So if you did set up the alerts in the morning and then you modified uh, the settings later in the day, just simply remove the alert and set up a new alert. So here I'm going to be alerted on Tesla intraday levels right here under custom levels. Uh, yes, you need to delete the indicator every day and then re-add it and set up the alert. So the steps uh, each morning would be remove the indicator, re-add the indicator, and then create the alert. So very simple. And then the alert stays on the whole day, so you don't need to do anything after that. Let's see if any of the levels pop up. I just want to look at that, and then we can move on to the Ninja Trader uh, settings. Um, yeah, let's see if we can... Uh, are able to reach any of those levels yeah gamma condition and scores are yes based on end of the data so they are the same that you will find in the dashboard so whenever you come to the dashboard you go under end of day and the data that you see here will be the same that you see in the in the indicator here so if you have spx 1375 1375 and then the scores would be would be the same all right there we go so we got our first alert let's go on crm actually we got our spy alert here so now you can see you can click here and see the alerts or you can go in the chart and then go and check uh the various levels so here we, you know, JAX5, breakout. So breakout means from the bottom to the top. So again, as you can see, we touch our JAX5 levels and the alert pop up. So very, very easy. And then, of course, here you can monitor them throughout the day um, and, and basically just be alerted. And again, the, the, the goal is really to customize it the way you want it. So if you just want to receive an alert on the major levels, then you just select those uh and then uh, and then yeah and then once it's done it's going to be available the whole day and you'll be alerted as soon as the return gets uh gets up and so here we have you can see our core resistance here so we can go back to nvidia this is real time as you can see guys um i have one my gamma levels end of day my scanner i'm now watching nvidia and now we are at the core resistance, core resistance zero DT level. And then from here, I can take action in a matter of a few seconds. Same thing with Apple. We can just go, go and monitor that. So we are breaking down on JAX2. And then, of course, all the alerts will also be available here if you want to go back and see them. All right, let me know if you guys have uh, any other question. Um, question from Masi, is it only end of the data? So uh, as we said, Masi, we upload the end of the levels for 20 tickers, but you can actually you can actually upload any levels that you want. So if I wanted to have intraday levels, uh, intraday levels on Tesla, like we showed you, we can go in the intraday section and we can have uh, the intraday levels for Tesla. I already uploaded them there. So here where you see that on the left, we will have Tesla with the end of the levels and on the right, right here. And on the right, we will have Tesla with the intraday levels. So yes, uh, you can upload up to 20 tickers. It could be intraday, it could be end of day, it could be any other tickers that is not covered here. So very, very, uh, very, very flexible here.